All right, today we're doing a viewer request. Uh, Connie does not like how canned store-bought pizza sauce tastes, neither do I. So we're going to make our own. It's really easy. You need one 28-ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. Get a really good variety. If you can find San Marzano, they are the best. All right, Google that. You've heard me talk about those before. Really, really nice, sweet variety. But any high-quality uh, whole peeled tomato is going to work. You're going to need some garlic. Come on. So uh, I'm going to go probably three or four cloves of that. That's up to you couple tablespoons of nice olive oil. Alright, we're going to spice it up a little bit with some red pepper flakes, about a half a teaspoon for me. Alright, we're going to need some salt, of course. I'm going to use about a half a teaspoon to start, and then I will adjust that later. And a little pinch of sugar. Okay, maybe a third of a teaspoon, just a pinch. Sweeten it up just a tad. Some dry Italian herbs, that's a half a teaspoon of your classic dry Italian mix. That's marjoram, thyme, basil, uh, rosemary, oregano, and then a half a teaspoon, well maybe a little more, half a teaspoon officially, of dry oregano. That's straight oregano. Now step one, take your tomatoes out of the can and we're going to have to take the seeds out. Okay. One reason the canned uh, store-bought sauce tastes kind of lousy is they process it with the seeds which gives it kind of an off bitter flavor. So, and by the way, this is for demo purposes only. Don't cut tomatoes in your hand like I'm doing here like an idiot. Alright, that was just to show you. So cut them in half on a cutting board. Whoops! I did that on purpose. Just to show you that they're slippery. you got to be careful. So cut them in half on a cutting board and, with, and just squeeze it and use the tip of your knife. And just try to get out as much of the seeds as you can. Don't take an hour to do this. You're just going to try to get most of the seeds out. And there you go. Alright, now what you can do and what I'm going to do, I'm going to strain the uh, tomato juice back in and just throw away the seeds. Some purists, some pizza sauce aficionados, uh, think you should throw the juice and the seeds away. Ah, doesn't. I, I don't think it makes that big of a difference. Now, what you want to do is give them a crush. Traditionally, you do it with your hands, because that's how my grandma did it, that's how my mom did it, that's how my aunt does it, that's how my uncle does it, that's how I do it. So, uh, if you're a little, you know, more dainty. You can get a potato masher and do it that way, but you want to cook these uh, with the tomato pretty much broken up. I'm going to explain later, again, at the end of this, you're going to have some options. If you have one of these uh, food mills, also very nice for this job. It'll actually crush them and strain out the seeds at the same time, but there we go. Either way you did it, there's our can of tomatoes ready to make a sauce with. Now, it starts with a warm saucepan. It's on low. I put in my olive oil. I put in my three cloves of chopped garlic, and I'm just going to bring that slowly up the temperature with a wooden spoon, just give it a little stir, until the garlic starts to sing, meaning I can hear it start to sizzle. By the way, that saying sounds much better in Italian, although I forgot it. Uh, but anyway, as soon as the garlic just starts to sizzle, you just hear it, it starts singing to you, you're going to add your dry herbs, that's the oregano, the mixed Italian herbs, and your chili, pep chili flakes, your chili pepper. All right. Now this technique is actually borrowed from Indian and Asian cuisine. Really common, they warm up or give their, their dry herbs and spices a little saute before they add the wet ingredients. Brings out more of the flavor. I really like the technique. It's a little bit dangerous though, because if your heat's too high, you burn that stuff, you get a mess, just a terrible mess on your hands. But since we are on low heat, I don't think there's much danger here. So that was just literally 20-30 seconds in the warm oil and uh, now we're going to add our tomato. All right, so dump in your tomato. Again, that's a 28 ounce can. All right, let's give it a stir. Now we're going to simmer this on low for approximately 30 minutes. So I want you to add your salt. It's about a half a teaspoon. Of course, taste and adjust that later. All right, a little pinch of sugar. Just sweetens it up just a hair. All right, and I'm going to add a half a cup of water because some of the liquid obviously is going to evaporate out of this. I don't want this to get too thick. I don't want this to turn into tomato paste. And I just think it simmers, because uh, I do like to simmer it, like I said, for about a half hour, 40 minutes. So I really cook in that garlic and the herbs and the and all the flavors. Uh, so to me, that half cup of water, that's going to evaporate up out of there you know, after a half hour. Now here is the secret ingredient, baking soda. This is Grandma Shinfoni's secret, top secret recipe, in fact, I actually had to wait uh, until she passed away before I could show it publicly for fear of retribution. So what we're going to do, we're going to add just a pinch, that was like a sixteenth of a teaspoon of baking soda. 
And the soda, if you've ever made the little, remember the volcano in science class? The soda reacts with the acid in the tomato, and this kind of little, I don't know, foam, pink foam-like substance comes to the top. You skim that off, and the theory is it actually makes, uh, improves the flavor of the sauce, and uh, you don't get heartburn. So I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Uh, in fact, if that's not true and it does nothing to do with it, don't even send me that email. I like to think that that works. So um, that was for Grandma Shinfoni. And uh, then I'm going to take my stick blender and give it a little buzz here. You could leave it chunky if you want. This, uh, from this point on, this is totally up to you. I do prefer a smooth uh, pizza sauce. Some people prefer the chunky uh, pre-mixed tomato sauce. That, especially if you're doing deep dish, people tend to like the chunkier. But for me, yeah, I like it that way. So there we go. Homemade pizza sauce. So much better tasting. Not having those seeds in there makes a big difference. Uh, possibly Grandma Shinfoni's baking soda pinch trick uh, did something to it. Uh, what I'm going to do with this, well, what would you think I was going to do with it? I'm going to make pizza. All right? So there's no top secret uh, tricks there. In fact, we will be making pizza dough very soon. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you're visiting the new foodwishes.com site. And as always, enjoy. <laughs>